In this video, I will show you how to insert a video into PowerPoint and to play that same video across multiple slides in your PowerPoint presentation. And this is just a little bit tricky to do, but it is very possible. So you can see here, I have a short presentation, at least right now, it's pretty short. And this presentation is gonna be all about nature in Spanish. And I want it to be an opportunity for students to practice identifying nature and the Spanish words that describe nature. So here on slide number two, it says search for nature. And I would like to put a video right here for the students to watch. So that's pretty easy to do. I can just click insert and then go over here to media and choose video. In this case, the slide is already kind of set up for video. I can go here where there's these icons and I can just pick what I want to insert into this presentation. And there's the option for insert video. So I can just click that and then I can just go to my downloads where I've downloaded some nature videos. And here's the one I'd like to use. So I'll just select it and click insert and that nature video is now in my presentation. Now for me, this design ideas panel opened up. That may not happen for you, but if it does, you can just X out of it to go back to a bigger view of your slide. So here's my video, and I would like this to play maybe over here on the right side while the students watch the video over multiple slides. I want them to be able to try to identify the different examples of nature and be able to say the Spanish words that go with them. So once you've got your video in the slideshow, the next step is to go here to the animations tab and then click to open up the animation pane. Now for you, it may automatically open up, but for me, I had to click there to open the animation pane. Okay, the next step is to make sure that the video is the first item in the animation pane list. So sometimes people may have text that's animated or pictures that come onto the screen using animations. If that's the case, just make sure that the video is moved to the top of that list. It looks like in this case, that's already true. It's already number one in the list. If that wasn't the case, I might have to click on it and drag it to move it to the top. You can also use these reorder buttons up and down to put it in the right order. The next thing to do is with your video selected, look up here on the animations ribbon in the timing group and notice that it says start. Instead of on click, you want to change that by clicking this arrow here and choose after previous. So after the previous item in the list, which there is nothing previous, the video should play. That's just another way to say immediately the video should start playing. The next thing you need to do is make sure that there's a play symbol or icon associated with your video. In this case, it looks like it's already set up but it could be for you that you'll see a pause symbol instead of a play symbol. So to switch it to play, just make sure the video is selected and then go up here and switch it from pause to play. Next, I need to go to the effect options for this video and you can find them here at the right when you click on the video in the animation pane. On the right side, you'll find a very small box with a small arrow on it and you can click to go to effect options. You can also just right click anywhere on the video here in the animation pane and go to effect options. They both take you to the same place. And you get this pop-up with options for how to play the video. And here on the effect tab, there's an option to stop playing instead of after the current slide, you can change that to after, let's say four slides or five slides or six slides, however many you want to use. I'm gonna say five slides and click okay. Now there's one more adjustment that I wanna make before I build my next slides. And that is, I would like to mute the video. So this particular video has a bunch of wind sounds and other things that will make it hard for the students to really focus on the video. So I'm going to select the video here on the slide. And when you do that, you'll notice that there are two additional tabs that appear here on the ribbon. There's the video format tab and the playback tab. On the playback tab, you'll find the volume options and you can go to mute. Okay, so with that muted, I'm now ready to start adding additional slides and additional content for the students to see while they're watching the video. So I'll just go here to the list of slides and I'll click new slide. Okay, so I've gone in and added a couple of additional slides with words for my students to look for as they watch the video. 
And now I'm just going to copy paste that slide as well. I want to have more than five slides here. So this will be slide number four, slide five, and I'll just do a couple more just to be sure. Okay, so we have several slides now, and yet this video should play from slide to slide. So let's try it out. I'm going to go to slide number one, slideshow from the beginning. There's my title slide. There's my video that starts up immediately. And when I'm ready, I can advance the slideshow just by using the arrows. Now you could also set them up to advance automatically. You can see there's my words. The students are looking for an arbol, for a montaña. I just advanced it again, and now they're looking for a cañón. And then there's slide number four, slide number five, etc. So this is a great way to show students information in a video and yet add additional content, words, pictures, other educational content alongside the video that continues to play from slide to slide. Now you probably noticed that my words were getting covered up by the video, so I can just scoot them over and that should fix the problem. So this technique really does solve a real problem in PowerPoint. And that problem is, how do I fit a video plus all of this information on the same screen all at once or even animated one at a time, but allow my students to be able to see all of that at once? It's just really hard to cram all of that information onto one slide. But because I can play the video over the slides from one slide to the next to the next, I can gradually bring this additional information into view for my students or for the audience. Another example of how you could use this, let's say you want to provide a music video and have lyrics appear on the screen. Well, you could have that video play from slide to slide and the lyrics change either automatically, if you put in the timing for how long each slide should be on the screen, or use a presenter remote to click to advance the slides at the appropriate time. So this would be great for music, for lyrics, and things like that that go with a video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, consider clicking the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. If you'd like some recommendations for excellent presenter remotes, again, look in the description below and I have links to some really excellent remotes. Thank you.